Hey, how's it going? Hope you've been well. We are headed out camping. Got everything packed up, actually. Dogs are in here. Ready to go. Ready to go. I'll show you a little bit more on gear later once we're out there, but I'll show you like a brief, brief idea of what's going on. So going to a new trail I haven't been to before. Got the Dometic strapped down. I put a couple of things on the cargo slide. So the slide is pulled out. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna find a lake or not, or a pond, but in the back, I'll show you later, we have some paddle boards. That's something Ashley likes to do. And yeah, got a little goal zero back here, powering the fridge. Got some stuff in there and yeah, we're all loaded up. So it's my first time camping with the cargo slide action. So that's pretty nice. You ready? I don't think so. And the forecast has 100% chance of thunderstorms. So we'll see. I didn't really want to go out camping. I was kind of feeling lazy and a lot to do, but Ashley is making me. So once again, you can thank Ashley for this video, but we're gonna roll out now. stick out so far I think I'm gonna clip them on something for sure if they're out. There's some absolutely beautiful spots over here. The, this river kind of goes through here, more of a creek, I guess. Uh, but we pulled off here as often as possible. I try to, you know, camp at spots that are a little designated and not carve my own path, you know, stay on the trail and all that stuff. So we're gonna walk around a little bit. Got Maple unloaded, she puked a few times, but once she's out of the car, she's pretty much instantly good. This is a pretty meadow. If we do camp here, I'll give some quick tips about camping near trees and stuff. But for now, we're gonna, we're gonna go explore a little bit. Everything looks to be in place back here.
Jump in, Maple. Jump in. Understand to just, she doesn't know to just like go through. She keeps trying to jump over everything. Just go through. <laughs> like a fox. Oh, good girl. Don't have the right lens, but there's a moose right up there. I saw a bunch of moose poop around. This is prime moose country. Glad the rain held out for us. Looks like, looks like we got some weather rolling in though. So whenever you get to a spot, you want to assess uh, wind for two reasons. One, if you have a hard shell tent like the high camper, that opens this way. And you wanna turn the hard side into the wind. That'll kind of minimize wind noise and everything. And secondarily, you wanna see if all the trees around you look good. Uh, and I always try to park where the wind's blowing this way. So there's no trees. There's no trees that could fall on us at night. And I don't say any of this to to freak you guys out or anything. But when you can, when you have the opportunity, you might as well be safe out there. And again, like I mentioned earlier, pick a spot that, you know, clearly has been camped in versus just driving out onto the tundra. And I usually just find rocks to kind of level as good as we can get. I try when I can to raise the front then that lowers the tailgate down because that's kind of where all the action's at, cooking and everything. But sometimes you just can't do it. So unfortunately, when you end up having to raise the back, then your tailgate ends up being pretty high for, for cooking and everything. But it is what it is. I think it's gonna be a pretty windy, nasty night. So we'll probably spend most of it up in the tent or in the truck anyway. So yeah, those are a couple tips to get you kind of to get you situated. This truck, man, drives like a dream. Drives like a dream. We didn't see a single other vehicle out on the trail and probably won't for the rest of the night. So even though this is a weekender lander, this is actually a weekday lander, <laughs> which in Colorado is way better. It's too tall now. Can't tell you enough, having a tent that's easy to set up makes it way nicer to just go camping. Show is beautiful, but definitely storm's looming. So we're gonna, we're gonna try and cook some dinner before that. Maple was shivering a bit. They both got kind of soaked playing in the creek. So I turned the truck on and the heat on so they could warm up here. Here's the current situation with the high tailgate I was telling you about. So these plain old bins are sturdy enough to stand on really, especially if you're relatively lightweight. So this thing is awesome. And I'm only relatively lightweight. Only relatively lightweight. So that puts Ashley tall enough now to cook up some burgers. We have this stuff kind of set up as a windscreen. Ashley's using her body as a windscreen as well. So again, wind coming from that direction into the hard side of the tent. You can probably see it's kind of windy stuff blowing around. So quick tip 
for wind, the Yak Camper is actually really good with wind. It has a bunch of little like lashing points to put all the flapping stuff. But whenever you have stuff like this, I usually just tie it down because otherwise these straps will like, you know, swing around and hit into the car and then you'll hear that noise. So this I can actually tighten down a little bit here. So now that won't be flapping. I hook this down so it won't be flapping. And then a lot of times I'll just keep the windows like that rolled up. I'll show you on the inside here. You can open the tops and have a little bit of ventilation to let the humidity out without water actually getting in. So that's what I'll usually do like 95% of the time. And then all of that makes this a super quiet tent. So the wind really isn't an issue, especially if you're able to orient yourself towards it, towards the wind. And then this is kind of like an awning, so I'll put stuff to dry out or whatever hanging off of here sometimes. And then the nice thing about the diamond back and the tent is you have a nice shelf here. So that's where I got this, uh, I think I talked about in this last video. It's a really nice Bluetooth speaker they sent out to me. So that's under there, protected from the rain and everything. And so the diamond back and the tent give you a nice little shelf to put stuff. And then all of this stuff on this cargo ease, once we're done for the night, we just slide it in and nothing's gonna get wet because it's all, all underneath the diamond back. So I really, really like this setup. I really like this slide too because I can get up here and pull everything out myself and I don't have to rely on Mike to help me reach everything and get my bag out when we get to camp. Yeah, she just pulled this thing out and started, started going without me. Usually she's like, can you pull the bin out of the back? Cause it's like way in the back there. And I'm too short. And she too short. You're not too short, look at you. Mm. So the fridge is on the slide, obviously pulls out enough to clear clearance. What we got in there? Some cheese, some drinks. Would you like a drink? Yeah, I'll take a drink. What'd you bring? I brought those for you. Did you bring me any beer? Is that not a beer? This is, oh, well, kind of a beer. I think it's like a mix between a beer and a cider. Oh. It says semi-sweet apple blonde ale with a dry finish. You can have a White Claw iced tea. I'll have this. So this is, we just buy it on Amazon. They might sell it at like Walmart or something. I'll link to everything as I always do down below. Appreciate you using those links, but this is what we just kind of keep in the camping bin for all the spice. And this I actually just got. I've been charging it on the Goal Zero, so I just have the Yeti 500X here strapped down and the fridge strapped down. I'll talk about this more a little bit later. So that's powering the fridge. Charge this. My trash flew! Oh no! Oh! Always pick up your trash. Never leave trash. This site's actually super clean. I don't see any trash here at all. Well, the rain has held out for a while. Burgers are about done. We brought some s'mores. I got these babies. Delicious. Really good s'mores. This isn't that bad, actually. So I have this thing. I don't use it all that often. But this is a windscreen. Uh, it folds down, comes in this. So it packs down super small, and I always just have it just tucked in to the side of the bin here. So that is both a wind screen and a splash, a splash screen as well, but it's so windy out right now that stoves just don't do very well in the wind. Okay, I'm gonna hold this up, finish the burgers. So yeah, a little windy, a little chilly, but it's been a nice night so far. We just went for a while and walked with the dogs out. So the creek kind of goes from up there. It's actually like, could throw a rock to it right over here and goes all the way down that valley way down there. 
So we had a nice little walk. We're gonna have some nice little burgers. I downloaded what we like to do. I talk about it a lot, but there's always new people here. I download uh, through you know Netflix or Amazon Prime or whatever. You can download to, I, I download it to my iPad and then we watch movies or shows or whatever and it's like a drive-in and we're so busy we just like to relax especially if the weather's kind of nasty and that's kind of what we we do so after this burger we're probably gonna watch i downloaded loki i've already watched it but ashley hasn't so i'll re-watch it and she's gonna watch it and that'll be fun ashley wanted to talk about her outfit because people always ask what she's wearing and I, I usually link it down below. I'm wearing a Beyond rain jacket. Looks like I got a speckle on the lens there. I'll clean off in a bit. Uh, these are some new Vertex pants. I really like a lot. And then I'm wearing some Danners. What do you got going on? I have my Beyond windbreaker rain jacket thing that I accidentally just splattered yeah, grease with all over grease. Before we got this windscreen out. And then I actually doubled up. I have their little hoodie. Oh, you're like triple on layered. Too. Maybe quadruple layered <laughs> quadruple on there. Quadruple layered. Oops. And then she's wearing some rain boots or something. Yeah, these some are just from Target. Random sweatpants. Yep, random sweatpants. Oh, they are warm. quite breezy though. Oh, JK, oh. not very warm. How's the burgers coming? They're done. Oh, got the cheese on? Mm-hmm. Nice. Just need the buns. Okay, just Cheers, mate. <laughs> Nothing like some delicious burgs. Oh. So the Super Duty movie theater is pretty nice. The 67 Designs phone mount. I just put the arm up so that it's a backstop for this now. So that's our little movie theater. Nice and roomy and comfy. Dogs in the back. It's really dark in here. But dogs are in the back, and we will just have a little movie. It's 8.47 p.m., so it's like a drive-in movie theater. I really like it. So sometimes I just have the dogs sleep in the back. It's kind of my, my preference in the cab, but Ashley usually wants them in the tent. So we're going to bring them in the tent. Here's the lighting, the KCC2s on the back and on the sides, give a nice little camp light. And then this is kind of what's going on back here. Got the diamond bike, the diamond back uh, light bar up there, which is super nice. You can see a great illumination on the tailgate. And what I'm gonna do is grab the dog, put them here and then Put them right into this window here and get them into the tent that way. That's easier than taking them up on the ladder. So anyway, we're getting into bed. Had a good few episodes of Loki and we'll catch you in the morning. Oh, good morning. Sun is starting to peek up over the trees here, but we're still in the shade, so it's chilly until the sun gets a little bit higher. Ashley's getting breakfast ready. This is my jam. Ashley likes this one a little better. What's that one? The Baja, Baja Latte. This one's a little sweeter. Mocha, obviously. Oh, yes. So here's our eggs, olive eggers. Easter egger, something. This is from our little frizzle chicken. The Rhode Island Rad. So these are from our chickens back at home. So we got egg, sausage, egg and sausage. Cheese. Cheese. Tortillas. Tortillas. Yeah, you know those wiener roll-ups that you were making for a while? Yeah, wiener dillas. Yeah, it's like a... Sausage and egg dilla. Sausage and egg dilla. Yeah. All right. Where'd our dogs get off to? Mabel, come. There's a fast dog. 
Hey, good boy. I just put some cheese and eggs and sausage onto the tortillas and then rolled them up. Roll them up. We put hot sauce on pretty much everything. Thank you. Sit. Oh. Turn around. Turn around. Down. <laughs> Jay Down. is like, come on. Woman. Good. I'll trade you down. Oh, trade down. Down. Good boy. So it really looks pretty beautiful out. I don't think I don't think the forecast was right for today. So it's kind of nice, but also a bummer because we got to roll out here in a few minutes. I have an appointment. I gotta try and make it to. But another good camping trip. So I like to just leave the tent out, usually as long as possible, and just pack it up right as we're leaving. So that way it airs out and everything. With two dogs and two people, there's kind of a lot of moisture. So I always leave the windows cracked. So there actually wasn't really any condensation that I could see, but it's good to just let it air out. This is a new bag. A new Vertex bag. They're like Go Bag, which is an ultra lightweight but kind of high feature bag, but super light. It's got Velcro inside and everything. Anyway, I actually just use it as a as a dump bag for her stuff. But I actually, really, really like that new little bag from them. And then when I'm airing out the tent, usually what happens is condensation is under the mattress. So the iCamper is two mattresses basically, like half and half. So I'll flip this one over, let the bottom of it dry out and kind of shove it under the other one. So the, the bottom of that one dries out and then the windows are open. So nice little cross breeze. These actually feel totally dry now though. So should be good to pack up. Ashley's out there with the dogs. Maple looked like she was just chasing a butterfly or something. This is a nice spot though. We'll probably come out here again. This is my first time out here. And the trail really goes quite a quite a ways up. It's a pass trail, so it gets gets higher and goes up there, but we're just gonna turn around and head back because time constraints. But probably come explore this area a little more. It's nice, still haven't seen a single other vehicle since we've been out. So that's always nice. So for trash, usually we'll just bring a trash bag or sometimes just like a little grocery bag and just hang it on these little tie downs on the diamond back. And that's our trash situation. Camping bins all packed up. This is, we still just use like a water jug. I was looking into getting one of those like water pour road shower type deals and mounting it like up here on the diamond back cover, which I'll probably do. Um, but this is what I've been using forever. I like this one, it's the Coleman five gallon one. And it's just a good size little little guy. These strap downs are called the Snatchets, I think. They're a front runner product and they work really well to secure things down. I think we're just gonna pack it up. The tremor with the sway bar still connected has some pretty good articulation, honestly. This one's tucked pretty good up in here. Not bad.
All right, well, I think that about wraps it up. Luckily, God blessed us with great weather, decent weather, didn't rain on us. But it's not gonna hold out here at my house for much longer. So I'm gonna unload, show you a little bit. Showed you some, I don't remember everything I showed, but I try not to be too repetitive in these weekender landers, but there's new people that watch them all the time and I wanna kinda spread some information and whatnot. So we'll talk briefly until it rains maybe. So again, this low profile cargo slide was great. I uh, had no issues with being fully loaded out. I'll actually pull it all the way out so you can kind of see what we got in here. Here it is. This is just Pelican case. So I like cases that you can stand on basically because <laughs> I use them as step stools. This is actually my camera gear in here, but I stand on it all the time. Obviously this Plano thing is what was our step stool for the most part last night, as you can see on top. This is just some paddle boarding stuff. So basically this whole front these are huge bags, paddle boards. We didn't end up using them, obviously, but Ashley wanted me to pack them just in case. Rain's coming down. Uh, again, this is that bag I talked about earlier. Awesome, if you're looking for a little lightweight bag. And then my Vertex contingency duffel is always kind of my catch-all. So clothes, hygiene, speakers, iPads, everything in there. This is the Dometic, C Dometic CFX 325. So this is the baby one. A 35 will fit as well for a little bigger. So these are some tie downs that I put in here. And I ordered some of the D rings that kind of like fold flat. I thought I had some, but I couldn't find them. So anyways, I'll replace these cause these are just kind of like up all the time, but I'll replace that with ones that kind of fold flat. I put another one here. This is a dry bag that we use for bedding a lot of times. And if we need more room, it's waterproof. It's from Ortlieb. And this could just go up on the roof racks or something if we wanted. And then it's now been just a little over 24 hours that the Goal Zero Yeti has been running this. I don't know if you can tell, it's at 66%. So I have that strapped down, put another little tie down point here and just use another front runner snatch it. I think I did bring a power tank here, but it was a pretty short trail. So I said, eh, I'm not gonna air down. So I didn't even air down. And this truck, man, it, it is awesome. I love this thing so much. It'll probably be like the family rig and then I'll still take the, garage is closed, but I'll probably take the Tacoma out on solo trips and stuff. So you'll get, you'll get some Tacoma content coming up. It's raining now, so I'm gonna push this back in. When it is pretty loaded, it's pretty heavy, like it is there, it does definitely rub on the tailgate a little bit. I'm okay with that, but there's gonna be some like little wear marks here. Anyway, a little bit of, a little grease actually. Hmm. So did great. Uh, Ashley says bye, she's helping me unload now. She's in her comfy wear. She took a shower, what do you got? KC highlights, sweatshirt on, nice. <laughs> All right guys, hope you liked that. Comment down below letting me know what you liked or hated or whatever, thumbs up, all that stuff. Appreciate your time watching the videos and I hope it was entertaining. Until next time guys, take care.